Hello everyone and welcome to Keep Common Homeschool On. My name is Ashley and today I just wanted to bring a video to you about our homeschool morning basket. Um, we use this as a morning and afternoon basket and we've kind of divvied it up. This is our seventh year homeschooling so we've kind of changed some stuff up to just accommodate our needs, I guess. The last couple videos that I've done have been about crochet and I said, um, in one of my videos, the changes and updates video, that I'd be kind of doing some crochet and some homeschool. So anyway, welcome to homeschool. Okay, so this is our afternoon morning basket. We've, like I said, homeschooled for seven years. This was one of our very, very first purchases as far as homeschool furniture goes. As you can tell, we just, it's been through, it's lived a pretty rough life whenever we were remodeling our house something fell on it and anyway that's a whole other story um so okay so how we kind of work this is um this is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so this top would be monday morning so before we do anything else we do what we do um our calendar work and our journal and things like that my kids are bigger so we don't really do like calendar time, but they do memory verse and journal and like writing prompts, um, vocabulary, Bible reading, and they do morning math. Anyway, after we do that, okay, it's so Monday morning, and then we do our morning work, they go to lunch, come back, this is Monday afternoon, okay, so they're all just morning afternoon, pretty basic concept. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you what's in it. This one's kind of wonky because of this, it's okay. Okay, so in the morning for Monday, I have some writing starters. These are really cool if no one's checked these out, by the way. Um, we just flip it open and kids can just pick something and there you go. So they have to write a story. It has like a story, a newspaper article, or a poem. You can have different things that are your options. So this one is a mystery about a creepy insect that is always in a hurry. Good times. Alright. And also, this is just in a folder, but this is our science unit study that we're working on. That's a different video. Oh, it's our human body. Excuse me, not science, but human body. We have brain teasers. This is a really cool book. Um, and we have can get them apart. Um, like I said, we do memory verse every morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is a thing that I made, I just found online, just a bingo print off. And um, some of the memory verses that we do, I wrote in, and then I read them. Sorry. <laughs> I read them the memory verse, and then they have to figure out which book and all that. So that's a fun one. We have bingo at one point in every day. They love to play bingo. And then these some cards, differences and things. Sorry, I wasn't even remotely on there, was I? Okay. And so that would be Monday morning. So then I try to go to lunch, whatever, come back. And we don't necessarily do everything in each box by any means. I mean I mean we pick a couple things and that way they change out and I change the boxes out also. So so everybody knows. So some homonyms. So they just have some flashcards. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to play. They've done it. You can tell the little highlighters. Um, those are each kid has a different highlighter, and that's their character. They made little. Um, they drew, should I say, little characters, and we put some contact paper on them, and they're gonna put them on popsicle sticks. I think right now they just use them, but anyway, we do that sometimes. We've been wanting to kind of try to memorize it or at least do it as a play for, I don't know, somebody. Dad, maybe. Anyway, okay, so we have uh, Fraction Dominoes. It's a flashcard game. We have Smarty Pants. This is under my kiddos grade level, level, but the morning basket, ours anyway, is just kind of fun stuff just to, I don't know, different brain exercises, fun stuff. So, dinosaur flashcards. We have these. It's the... All of the capitals, and this is um, part of the, 
Expedition Earth. Um, oh, Confessions of a Homeschooler, I'm sorry. So this is part of her curriculum, um, but we still use the flashcards. We did that a couple years ago, and I'm thinking maybe we should do it again. Like I said, mine is kind of bigger, but they quite enjoyed it. Uh, this is another one that we do Ingo-wise. We just I just pick a different math problem. There's three, because there's three kids. And then they do the answer. So you could do square root or multiplication, division, addition. Or just number recognition, depending on your kiddo's age. So that will be Monday. I'm trying to make this kind of quick so it's not real boring. Okay, so um, match the fact. Those, I think, at Dollar Tree. See, some of these are just money. Most of these we don't even use, or if they do use, they look for that for about five seconds. Um, these I made, it's just like length and measurement. Um, this is our Fruit of the Spirit travel guide. We have two of those. I bought one and we found one at a thrift store. And so we kind of use those together. We have some different, once again, a bingo game. <laughs> that you play for the fruit of the spirit. This is a lot of fun, this one. I like this. This is, <clears throat> these are our puzzles, our puzzles, our plays, and there are a bunch, human body. We have a bunch of different plays in here. There's some idiom plays. Um, and then I said they like to pick different people. We do a lot of plays to be honest, just even here, just setting in the classroom. Um, and some vocab and different things. Those are from Dollar Tree also. Okay. And before long, I'm going to have a classroom tour. I just haven't. Okay, so some landmark cards, some more, like, money matchup. Like I said, some of it's just fun. So if their brains get woke up in the morning. Um, these are some um, parts of speech thingies that I made, little caterpillars. Time and money and stuff. USA Bingo. Vocabulary. These are. Um, I just wrote the definition on the back. That's obviously not the definition for that, but anyways, there's different cards we got for Dollar Tree, and then they just use those as flashcards. Um, these we also got at Dollar Tree. And my stickers fell off. That we can use these for math or I mean just whatever. You guys have probably seen these. If not, they're really cool. You can use them for a million different things. Um, we are in fact a Cherokee descent. We live in the Cherokee Nation, so we're learning to speak Cherokee. This is a really fun book. Um, we have a Jeopardy for our state. Dang. Tuesday afternoon, like I said, we don't necessarily do all of these things because we can get a little crazy. I'm going to try to put them back in here so I can show them the drawers. Maybe too harder. I wasn't thinking it was going to be Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, so then Wednesday is more. Oh, um, <coughs> bingo. This is also the capitals. So this one I um, put contact paper on and then they can just use their dry erase markers and mark it off. So they have use mark like you know little things to mark. Um some other flashcards that we made that have to do with um history. <coughs> things game. Uh parts of speech to go along with the mad libs. They don't really use this anymore. This was more of over there a little the parts of speech thing, but we do still use our Mad Libs book a lot. We got a lot of use out of that one. It's pretty big off of Amazon. And a Midsummer Time Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Once again, the play. So we've been working on it a little bit here and there. We watched, um, we watched it, I think, two different versions or two different groups. Um, put the play on, so I've just kind of been checking into that one. Okay, so that's what Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, everything.
Everything Kids Science Book. We have the Making Brothers and Sisters Best Friend book. American Trivia. Um, these are just little Tupperware and Glad things. And some dye. Math. I don't know if you can see the. Like either these are addition and subtraction, I think. There's multiplication and addition. I think they just show them. And they do the problem. It's little fun things. Um, story cubes. <coughs> flashcards. More flashcards for government. Um, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Um, trivia. We do trivia a lot too. And we do trivia games where we'll I'll write their names on the board and then they get tickets for the store depending on how many that they get. Um, some of the flashcards. Those are space. Those are just vocabulary. Oh, this is their very favorite right here. I will be no. This was the corner of once again, first purchases, but it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Okay, and just some math spelling. These are, I don't remember where I found these. <coughs> but anyway, just some random flashcards, some music flashcards. All three of my kids play instruments, so that one's a good one to know just how to count time and things. So we do look around the world with these and see who can get it quickest and then do um, get card or get tickets for the store with those. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get them mixed up. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So another just little fun thing. We also do like around the world with telling time. I have a big clock and they tell me what time and then whoever gets it fastest. Um, some food chain cards. U.S. states and capitals flashcards. <coughs> um, these are icebreakers. Just they're not really easy so much anymore. But whenever they're a little, it's like kind of a brain break thing. Just for them to stop whatever they're doing. Uh, Bananagrams. This we got at the Dollar Tree. Tesla continents. And then this is just a science workbook that I just opened the Dollar Tree. Some different projects and things that I can do on Thursdays. And then on Fridays, we have Fun Friday, and we usually do like tea parties and just really fun stuff on Friday. So these are some different ones. Um, I'm not sure why these are in here, to be quite honest. But same thing, just Fun Friday, so why not? We have dot to dots and mazes and Bible crosswords. Again, all of these I think came from. Let me show you. Sorry, all of these came from the Dollar Tree. And then, have them. And then this is um, a matching game that I made a long time ago about the different types of clouds. <clears throat> a tornado we've yet to use. Um, and then just some math. Just some fun math things that are in here. Oh, well, just the art lab. This is an awesome book. If you guys don't have this, you should check it out. It's 52 art labs for kids. Oh, okay. Anyways, it just goes through and has. It's really cool. Anyways, we really, really enjoy this one. So, I said it's just some fun math stuff, some math puzzles, and things for them to do. Um, anyway, so like I said, it's not necessarily um, a morning basket, I guess, but it's working for us. We used it for, uh, we used it last year and we used it this year so far and we seem to enjoy it. I said I tried some things out. Some things are really easy, but that's kind of the point of it. I feel like it's just, I mean, we do other things, we do read alouds and I mean a lot of other things together. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you all have a blessed day. I'm going to run out of time, so <laughs> thank you guys so much. Bye, I'll be back soon with other ones.